good morning everybody happy terrific tuesday with everyone in the world this is Rosen again speaking i just thank the lord for life health and strength i thank you for seeing another day god is good all the time we are going on to psalms 109 1 to 31 and then we are going on to waves ways to become a modern gentleman and i'll give you the 12 ways in which you could become a christian modern godly gentleman okay so i hope you all have a blessed day and work home wherever you are in the world in america caribbean because jesus christ wake you up thank the lord for life thank the lord for health thank the lord for every single thing you must be grateful and thankful for what he is doing in your life and always remember to focus and have a head on and a straight face and rise up to the rise up like an eagle and soar like an eagle do not leave the turkeys and leave the the goggle google google yeah goggle goggle is turkey song right leave them behind but pray for them right we all have to pray to one to another do not leave out your brother and sister in the cold right always remember pray pray fervently in all prayer okay so let us pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for every single thing you have given to us, Father Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that people have a blessed day, Father Lord. They're focusing you, Father Lord. They're praise to the Lord because you are the one in control. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving me the strength and health to come on this video, Father Lord, to give your people a word and a message, Father Lord, that Lord, they will take it into consideration in their lives, Father Lord, that Lord, this will be a catapult for an opening door, Father Lord, and a breakthrough, Father Lord, that is about to happen in people's lives. I pray, Father Lord, that people will understand, Father Lord, the reason, Father Lord, to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth, and no matter what they are going through, Father Lord, humble themselves before you and pray and draw closer to you as ever before. So I'm about to bring your lecture and your scriptural verse, Father Lord, and and explain follow Lord. I hope it will be a blessing to their hearts that they will inspire and motivate follow Lord their lives for the Lord for the better and live a holy life well accepted and pleasing to you follow Lord in the name of Jesus Christ O oh Lord amen so I hope you all have your pen if you have your pen your chalkboard your holy Bible every single thing right materials you have you can listen to me if you want okay or follow through in the King James Version, the Amplified Bible, or the New Testament, okay? So let us go on to Psalms 109, 1-31, okay? So that is Psalms 109, 1-31, okay? So let us read. O God of my praise, Keep not silence, for the mouth of the wicked and mouth of the seed are open against me. They have spoken to me and against me with a lying tongue. They have compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. In return, right, in return for my love, they are my adversaries, but I resort to prayer. And they have rewarded and laid upon me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him as a judge and let a malicious accuser stand at his right hand when the wicked shall be judged let him be condemned and let his prayer for licency be turned into sin let his days be a few and let another take his office and charge acts 120 let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow let his children be continual vagabonds as was cain and beg let them seek their bread and be driven forth from their ruined homes. Genesis 4 12. Let the creditor and exhaustioner seize all that he has, and let strangers, barbarians, and foreigners plunder the fruit of his labor. Let there be none to extend or continue mercy and kindness to him. Neither let there be any to have pity on his fatherless children. Let his pos posterity be cut off, and the generation following their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered by the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because the man did not earnestly remember to show mercy and pursued and persecuted the poor and needy man and the broken in heart he was ready to say yes he loved cursing and came back upon him as he delighted not in blessed it was far from him he clothed himself also with cursing as with his garment and it seep into his inward life like water and like oil into his bones let it be to him as a raiment with 
which he covers himself and for the good of which he is good at continually. Let this be reward of my adversaries from the Lord and of those who speak eagle against my life. But you deal with me and act for me, O God. The Lord, for your name's sake, because your mercy and loving kindness are good. O deliver me, O Lord, for I am poor and needy and my heart is wounded and stricken with, within me. I am gone like the shadow when it lengthens and declines. I toss up and down and am shaken off as a locust. My knees are weak and totter through fasting and my body is gaunt and has no fatness. I am become also a reproach and a thorn to others. When they see me, they shake their hands. Matthew 27, 9, 39. Help me, O Lord, my God, or save me according to your mercy and loving kindness, that they may know that this is your hand that you, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but do you bless. When adversaries arise, let them be put to shame, but let your servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and dishonor, and let them cover themselves with their own disgrace and confusion, as with a robe. I will give great praise and thanks to the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will sing praises among the multitude. I want people to hear it in the back, in the side, in the front, wherever you are in the middle too. That Jesus Christ loves you with an unconditional Lord, saints of God, children of God, most high. You ought to worship him every single day because he loves you. He covers you by his blood of Jesus. He covers you and shields you. But this is the last verse, verse 31. For he will stand at the right hand of the poor and needy to save him from those who condemn his life. Let me read that, read that again. For he will stand at the right hand of the poor and needy to save him from those who condemn his life. So... I pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, that Psalms 109, 1 to 31 will be a blessing to the hearts that they understand. And as I'm about to proceed to explain your word, Father Lord, that Lord, it will help them in the day lives and the children lives and the family lives, Father Lord Jesus, because you, Father Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, for every single thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, amen. So I'm about to explain. Psalm 109 is saying, O oh God of my praise. So God is talking. Psalm David is talking and belling out. The people that hate him, the people that are doing him wrong, the people that are praying over him bad and all these things. God is going to destroy the adversary. God is going to destroy the wicked. God is going to destroy the oppressed. God is going to destroy every single thing that is coming against you as a Christian person. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. You are a covering. You are a covenant for the Lord Jesus Christ. You have the power to take charge of your life you have the power to speak life into existence you have the power to pray for people pray for your enemies and all these things but do not mingle with them stay far from them 600 feet and allow god jesus to work in their lives you cannot change nobody but god is the only one who can change people lives right jesus christ came for people like us, for me and you, and sinners, and ungodly, and the drunken man, and all these people, right? Jesus Christ came to die on the cross that we will have life and have it more abundantly. But Satan is the one that will send demonic soul ties, demonic people in your life to try to distract you, to try to have you down. Because he doesn't love the Lord, even though Jesus Christ created everything. Jesus Christ created also the enemy too. But the enemy was an angel of light, right? And be aware of Antichrist. Be aware of the chip, the mark of the beast, all these things in the Bible. Right? Be aware. Because Jesus Christ is going to return soon and take his church. Right? But we have to be election. We have to be prepared. Right? We have to be prepared to meet our God. We have to be prepared. So that is the reason why God in this season, God is preparing kingdom spouses, kingdom marriages to happen. Because he wants us. He has a work for us to do. But are we willing to take the work? Are we willing to not pull it down or draw it down? Are we willing to do that? That's what God is saying. So from Psalm 109, it says we have to praise. We have to praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to worship him. We have to seek him daily. We have to allow Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to be in our presence. Because when we are in the presence of the Lord, we are bountifully blessed by the Most High God. We have favor. We, his mercy and grace is new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. His faithfulness is bountiful. Plenty. Right? God can give him more things. More and more about Jesus. We need to be more aware that jesus christ loves us unconditionally he sent his son into the world that we through him might be saved and we will be always because his father's house have many mansions and according to john 15 right in his father's house 
It's plenty apartments. It's plenty mansions, but with eternal life. Right? It's just as a parable. Right? Just as a parable. We are the root. We are the roots growing up. We are the young people of generations after generations. We have to help all the elderly people. The elderly people are going down. And stop laughing at them. But always remember, the Bible talks about help one another. Respect your elders. Respect of those who are in authority. But not everything you will take into consideration. We have a voice to be heard. Right? As a Christian person, do not be mumbling and grumbling and we cannot understand what you're saying. But all things, pray. Pray. And seek the Lord and consult God because he is the author finisher of our faith, right? Because he never gave you a spirit of faith. He always gave you a power, love, and a song mind from since the beginning of the world. He created you with goodness, mercy, overflowing blessings. He does not want people. We have to think mega. We have to think bigger, bigger in our, in our life. And stop thinking small. Stop being a small person. But think bigger. Write down, get your vision board, write it plain and go to God according to Habakkuk 2.2. 2. Write it plain and make it to God. Allow Jesus Christ to be every single thing that you ever wanted. Because God could give you every single thing on this earth. You don't have to beg about nothing. All you have to do is pray and intercede and allow Jesus Christ to work in your life. Allow Jesus Christ to come into your life. And receive him as Lord and Savior. And you will see things change in your life. You will see the atmosphere change. You will see things moving and shifting for your own good. Because those who love God will be diligently seeking the Lord. We are, we are diligently seeking the Lord by obeying his word. By telling people about him. By doing these works. These wondrous works. It's not about works any man should work. It's not about good works. You know. It's about allowing Jesus Christ. It's about salvation. It's about eternal life. Right? It's about living the life that God wants you to live. Okay? So now we are going on to verse 3. They have come past me. So the enemy, right? The wicked, the mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the seat are open against me. Because they have something to say. They don't want you to worship the Lord. They want to distract you. They want to destroy your life. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and do, do not allow the enemy. To come into your life. You have the power to take charge. You have the power to stop the enemy. You have the power to pray against scorpions and all these things. We have to put on the full arm of the Lord. That we are able to withstand the devil and the wise of the evil. Because we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against rule of the darkness of this world. And the ruler of the darkness of the world is enemy. Right? The enemy doesn't, doesn't want you to praise. He always will find a distraction. He will always find somebody. He will take somebody from your family and, and pay them to do you wickedness. But it will not work. You have the blood of Jesus all poured, washed, and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus will never lose its power. There is power in the one and God can take down anybody. God can take down the enemy too. Because the enemy time short. Right? For the next seat, he will shorten the days according to Matthew 24. Right? He will shorten the days for the elect's sake. He will shorten the days for the righteous sake. Right? That we have to come into agreement and alignment to the body of Christ. We have, we have to agree. Not everything will agree. It's God's law. It's not man's law we're living under. We're living under grace. Grace is, grace is saved through faith. Right? Without works, lest any man should boast. Without works. Without faith. Right? Without works, without faith, we are nothing. Right? It's faith does move mountains. Faith does move mountains. Faith will give you an open door. Faith will unlock any open door through prayer, through supplication, through going down on your knees and praying. Power of prayer is so important in our daily lives that we ought to not take that for granted. We ought to not play around with it, but always focus and be determined that we as Christian people, saints of God, we have election show. Okay. So coming back to Psalm 109, right? It's saying that the wicked shall be judged. Let him be condemned. So the wicked will be judged um, according to God, right? God will judge the wicked for whatever they've done wrong, whatever they do in your life, whatever they do or say, they will be judged. Right? Do not criticize or think nobody. Leave them after God. Let God deal with them. Okay? 
they will be in judgment they will be in the lake of fire if they don't accept jesus christ before it's too late right because a sinner could repent you know a sinner could repent but it's either they have a choice it's either they worship the enemy or they worship god in spirit and in truth and i am telling you take jesus christ take jesus christ as lord and the savior allow him to change around your life allow him to breathe new fresh air into your life okay number 24 my knees are weak and totter through fasting so prayer and fasting is so important prayer and fasting is when you're revitalizing when you when you have a alone time with the lord jesus christ by your own self each and every individual needs to have alone time and, and you could have time for tv you could have time for going out you could have time for all these material things but have make time for the lord make time for jesus christ and he will give you the desires of your heart he will give you every single thing according to his word right because the word of god the bible is a true book that we could go in and we could not flip the script you could flip the script flip the script on your situation flip the script on your life pray about it right pray about your situations and stop only talking about it pray about it and allow jesus christ to come into your life okay saints of god we have to we ought to wake up this time is not a time to be plain with our lives we need to wake up and see what is going on let do not allow the enemy to blind your eyes but open your eyes for the truth because jesus christ is the way the truth and your life no man comments on it father but by him so we need to be we are were broken vessels in the past but now we are free from sin we are free from the bondage of pharaohs we are free right but we have to live a holy and blessed life on jesus christ okay so god is going to take down the enemy tactics god is going to destroy the works of the enemy and build his kingdom because his kingdom was disrupted by distractions of the enemy okay so david is saying my knees are weak and totter through fasting so david the psalm david right says the because of the distractions of the end because of the wicked the iniquity the oppress all these things and cursing too and they disrespecting him he have to go down on his knees and cry out to the lord and say lord you just i don't know what is going on i don't know why the haters are coming against me i don't know what's going on but god said be still and i will fight your battle for you right be still peace be still and humble yourselves before jesus christ and resist the devil and he will flee from you seven ways okay take that into receive that sense of god receive the holy ghost in your life receive the purity this the um the purity the transform mind god is going to renew and transform your mind by the blood of jesus okay so coming back to the verse verse 28 let them curse but do you bless when adversaries arise let them be shattered and put to shame okay so whatever adversary in your life trying to hinder you trying to block you from your blessings trying to do this stuff you know to pray the power of prayer let them curse let them curse you let them hate you let them scorn you just as how jesus christ get all these things upon the cross right the soldiers did them wrong the soldiers put a crown and make fun of him but he died on the cross he did have a work for his father so we need to do a work for our father our heavenly father who love us unconditionally obey him right obey the lord jesus christ right put that in consideration allow do not study the what the haters them do not get distracted by them okay allow you to put on the full armor of the lord you are the battlefield you are just you have to be just as david right david had a david and goliath goliath was a big giant right and david was a small man of god right he did fear he had fear in him because he had it to face right goliath right he had it to face goliath so goliath wanted to destroy him just as how the enemy and god right so 
he had a little slinging shot with a piece of stone. It's, a, it's not stone, it's, it's boulders, right? And he take that one shot and just sling it straight to Goliath. And Goliath, the giant coming along. So Jericho, the walls of Jericho are tumbling down. Because God is building and rebuilding something and restoring things in your life. Right? It will take a process, but God is going to replace whatever you cry, right? Whatever you cry of tears, that is answered prayers, okay? God is opening doors in your life that no man cannot, no enemy, no man can separate them from the love of God. Who could separate? Who, who, if God is for you, who can be against you, okay? So, the last one, so, 30 right i will give great praise and thanks to the lord with my mouth i will still give praise so despite whatever is going through despite whatever circumstances and despite whatever the enemy is coming to distract you and all things and sending people and paying people to do wrong things praise the lord still in the midst of it all praise everything will come to pass everything will come to pass in your life but praise the lord worship him still go down on your knees still put up your praise and worship cd and copy the copy the songs if you don't know the songs, learn the songs and sing praises and, you know, read your Bible and be occupied, right? And be obedient to him. You see, once you're on a straight path, once you're on the straight path and you come in alignment with the Lord and agreement with the Lord, you will see blessings and changes and open doors coming and opportunities and overflows of windfall and financial breakthroughs coming to your life. But when you just slip and fall and just being rebellious and stubborn and don't want to know and just don't want to come back and think, God will leave you right there. You will see destruction and things in your life, right? So only the only way to salvation is just to get into know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a friend that sticks close and right. He's a comforter. He will send the Holy Spirit to comfort you. Right? So, the last one. For he will stand at the right hand of the poor needy to save him from those who condemn his life. So God, God will stand with you, with the poor needy, to save him. He will save you. He will direct you and lead you to your promised land. He will direct you and lead you to every single thing, right? That's what God is going to do in this season, in this year, and beyond. God is rearranging. God is accelerating. God is rebuilding. God is restoring. God is even closing doors. God is even taking out some people from your life who cannot go with you, right? God is doing all these things because he loves us. He wants us to be focused on him right all these things all these friends all these old friends that we have we are sticking on to them we need to let go let go and let god take control okay of your life so i hope this psalm 109 1 to 31 we are blessing you let us pray heavenly father just thank you for giving me this word and explaining father to your people i pray for lord yes that lord they will really let go of people for lord toxic people and for lord start praising you and start repenting and surrendering their life to you for lord because lord father you are doing a work in their lives for the lord but lord they need to um all the residues all the debris for lord that they have built up in their past and all these things shall be destroyed by the blood of just all unclean spirits all for the lord um all for the lord evil spirits of witchcraft evil spirits of um gazum Evil spirits of all these things, Father Lord, shall be destroyed. That Father Lord, they live abundant life and a blessed life in you, Father Lord. Because you are the one that give them this life and depend on they will depend on you and wait on you, Father Lord, for the God's time in his election shows. So about to bring your lecture session. I pray in the name of Jesus it will be a blessing to the house that Lord. They will focus on you. They will pray. They will intercede. They have the power to control their life father lord, because you give them the power because all power goes to jesus christ and none to us and father lord i just thank you lord yes i just come into your presence every single day to give a word for your people so about to about to give that lecture and about to wrap it up i pray for our lord it will be a blessing and you will motivate and inspire in the name of jesus christ so lord amen so i hope this one psalms one and i may have blessed to us but now we are going on to Quality relationships chapter 6 being a modern gentleman I dealt up yesterday with the hundred ways right and how to be a modern gentleman okay so
looking very very wonderful this morning okay but what is good all the time all the time what is good so let us read okay being a modern gentleman okay tips for being a modern gentleman there are 12 tips for being a modern gentleman okay if you do nothing else just keep your radar up gentlemen have six cents right they have more than they have one cents yes but they have six cents right they hire selves okay as gentlemen and women we strive to make make sure feel that taken care of but keep in mind the common sense right number two run toward the fire another way of saying those will never pray to be bystander effect stop and help them save the day right number three let others enter sit and eat first eat modestly right with respect number four call women you point no miss or ma'am right so you must have respect men call them miss or ma'am do not call them what or nothing right have respect for people right women especially until they tell you otherwise be courteous towards her right number five walk on the proper side of your date right few things to keep in mind when indoors walk your date on the left side when you switch sides of the street slow slow your pace step behind her gently move her across in front of you right that is the way for your date right do not trip do not be in the middle of the road right because something or someone might bounce you down okay <laughs> but serious thing that is the correct way of how to be the tips of being a modern gentleman right as follows 12 tips now this is the sixth one wait till your date of friends are inside right pulling away you wait so you know you are safely secure inside the house it takes extra seconds but is remembered forever had you and you really will never be able to live with yourself if you just sped off and something happens okay wait till your date of friends are inside right that mean wait till um your date which is your personal girlfriend friends are inside do not have no dealings with them if you want to be alone with her you be alone separately okay so number seven ask your date what she would like an order for two of you this may ruffle your feathers a little bit if she has ordered something that requires more information like size or temperature like waiter will normally ask her directly okay so when you go into a restaurant you let her order first right you will pay the bill after right if it's if it's some shrimp with some noodles some salad and rice and peas right with a little grapefruit juice by the side and it come up to 275 you will pay the bill right let her um allow her to think do not just butt in into no conversation because that is a no-no okay men so number eight offer your umbrella to the elderly to the woman with children holding the umbrella for your date is common sense but holding it for strangers is a true show of chivalry so it's a true show of respect right hold the umbrella when rain is falling hold the umbrella do not allow nobody to get wet in no rain because they will get sick okay some of them have asthma problems some of them have sinuses okay so remember to hold the umbrella for the elderly too so it's not only about women with children not only about your date it's about helping 
right because you can also form an okay you can also offer an umbrella to a woman closer to your age but that comes with a charming overtone okay so that comes with a charming overtone number nine learn how to change attire there are dozens of online tutorial to, tutorials on how to change attire and your car manual has info where you can do that find the tools manual because be the hero change the tire number seven that is not t-y-r-e that is t-i-r-e okay and always be attired at all times attired means well dressed well groomed all these things just the hundred ways yesterday i did give okay number ten send flowers and a thank you note of gratitude to loved ones and your date and not everyone likes roses right not everyone will take roses from it have people have different reactions right there are some people love tulips some people love um orchids some people love different um flowers okay thank you notes are a form of gratitude and generosity right just just do it your mom would be proud okay so your mom will be proud number 11 open doors god will open a door for you right properly and for ever i hold doors open for everyone woman then pets again is something my mother taught me from small but there's a right way to do it right if you are getting in a cab hold the door for other passengers and walk around don't make people slide across the seat unless you're super familiar i if you're super familiar hero but never make a woman in a dress or heels right slide over no matter what okay so be cut yes open the door for people when you're going in do not leave them to open the door right be a gentleman that is 12 ways to be a modern gentleman by doing these things you will get your blessings too okay and god is going to open doors for no man could shut right so always remember be courteous be punctual and be yourself right don't care what the naysayers say don't care what the people them say all you have to do is focus be in a in a straight pathway right let god direct you and lead your men right this is how a godly relationship supposed to be okay a godly union too all right dress for the occasion okay that is the last two. this is 12 dress for the occasion right entire volumes have been written on this topic so i will be brief when invited to someone's special event or birthday party right scan the invitation for address code and then stick to the plan contrary to you thinking you as no a suit guy it is terrible display of disrespect to show up semi-formal wedding in slacks and a button down it's very disrespectful right to do that in a wedding a semi-formal wedding with your button slapped down right that is a form of disrespect be a gentleman be a modern gentleman right create men do these things some men do these things and and just embarrass yourself right do not do that men do not do that right always dress with a formal way always tuck in your shirt if you have a tuxedo you're tucking your shirt right white clothes have to be separate from black clothes black clothes have to be separate from colored clothes and so on so on do not wash all right if you are tired wash some right and just iron it right iron it some people just iron the shirt wrong side some people just iron it thing well right use starch for your clothes okay starch does work s-t-a-r-c-h okay so just recapping we dealt up with today's Psalm 109, 1 to 31, and I explained to you, focus on the Lord, forget about what the enemies and your haters, and pray for them, that God will change wrong their life, and let, because they have to repent and surrender. So they have to start a whole process, because when you are a sinner, and you're living in sin for years and all these things, you could change wrong your life. But it's up to you if you want to do that, okay? And then we 
dealt up with chapter 6 today on godly relationship being a modern gentleman and i explained the 12 tips of how to be a modern gentleman and i hope this will be a blessing to all your hearts men that all you will just take in the series and do what is right okay so we are going to close heavenly father we just thank you for this whole video for our lord about scriptural and lecture i pray for our lord it will be a blessing to the hearts that lord they will understand for our lord that you are the one in control for our lord that lord for our lord they will you will take over their lives for our lord that lord for the lord they will have a testimony in the mouth to say for our lord about to leave for our lord i pray that for our lord that they will humble themselves and repent and surrender their life to you for our lord so about to leave for the lord about whatever for our lord let them have a blessed day for our lord wherever they are america caribbean all around the world and lord for our lord they're safe let them be safe in their homes that for our lord no entity or no evil spirits will come in their home right now i cancel all i renounce all ungodly ties all all his witchcraft food wisdom shall go back to the sender right now by the blood of jesus so I'm about to leave every single thing into your care in the name of jesus christ our lord amen so i hope you all love this because god is good i'm looking very very wonderful today very very wonderful today But God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Hope you have a blessed day. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bible study tomorrow. And then, Thursday, we'll get back into chapter 7 right so i hope you all take down notes i hope this will be a blessing to all your hearts i love you with the love of jesus right i love thank you lord jesus thank you lord for life health and strength thank you for every single thing but god is good god is doing a new work in your life receive it today and allow him to work and once you do that you will be a changed person okay so love you with the love of jesus and bye-bye